Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a review on the Huda Beauty palette. So I haven't used this palette before um, and I've used it to create this look that I've got on today. Um, there's heaps of different shadows in here and um, I really had a lot of fun playing around with this as well. So if you'd like to see my thoughts on the Huda palette then keep on watching. My face looks a little bit weird at the moment because I've got nothing on my eyes. I've done the rest of my face, I've done my eyebrows and everything else, my lipstick, whatever. Um, because I'm actually going to review something today and I didn't want to touch it um, until I did this video. So it's been killing me and I just, I'm just so excited to start filming. So today I am reviewing the Huda Beauty palette. It is the Desert Dusk palette. Okay. So it comes in another case, the palette is here. My god, that's beautiful. Oh, look at the packaging. Oh, that's so pretty. You could do like a hundred billion different looks with this palette. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay. Oh, and like, look at the size of the mirror as well. Like, it's huge. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use... Um, Eden and Blazing, which is these two shades here. So Eden is a really light, like peachy shade, and then Blazing is this really bright orange down here. I think I'm going to mix them together as my transition shade. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so there's a little bit of kickback from the actual shadows, um, which means when you dip your brush into it, um, it sort of like gets a little bit powdery and sort of sits on top of the actual eyeshadow color. Um, I went really, really light, um, into the pan to start with because I wasn't sure how pigmented they were going to be, but it's pretty safe to say that these are really light colors so that you can just go straight into the pan and then straight onto your eyelid. Um, that's the second time going over it and I didn't like dust off anything. So we're starting to get a little bit more color payoff now. That was the third time that I've gone over my eye. It is really hot in Australia at the moment for my, all, all of my Australian friends out there. Um, it's like we're, we're dying here. I think it was like 47 or something yesterday, um, which is just ridiculous. Like you could take an egg outside and fry it on your bonnet. If you guys can see, I'll try and show you. But that's the palette at the moment. So you can see that the it's a little bit powdery on the two shades that I have used. But nothing substantial. Like that's pretty much the same with any other palette. I'm going to take this musk colour here. It's like a really, really soft brown. I think I'm going to take that one and then I'm going to go over the top of it with this one on the corner. Which is Oud. O-U-D. However you say that. Odd, old. Okay, so I'm gonna just do a really soft, um, like halo eye effect. Just starting off with these colors, and like I said, I'll be going in with that darker brown shade over the top. I'm doing this so that it's a really nice gradient between the colors, rather than just going from orange to brown. I want something in between just to help break it up a little bit and help blend it. I'm just going to blend those edges out. Again, just with that clean, fluffy brush. And all of the edges as well. I'm blending um, into the crease and I'm also blending this edge just here. That's going to eventually join up with another colour. If you don't blend that edge, you end up with this beautiful colour on the outside and these really harsh lines on the inside. So you have to remember to blend out both sides. 
Okay, so what I actually want to do is um, I'm going to use the Too Faced um, glitter glue and I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand just to apply it to the middle of my lid. Um, I want to make like a like a cut crease almost and I, I just want to use the glitter glue just to help the shadows stick a little bit more. So pray for me because I don't know if this is going to work or not. Okay, so now I'm going to take this cashmere shade down in the corner here and I'm going to be putting this in the middle of my lids. Okay, so I'm really loving these colors at the moment. Like, they're just so, so pretty. Um, hmm. I think it needs, like, something, though. I don't know what. Hmm. You know what? I think I might add a little bit of Champagne Pop. Um, this is a Jaclyn Hill, um highlight for anyone that doesn't know a little bit of this just over the top of where we put that celestial color I just want to brighten it a little whoa that's like heaps much brighter oh my god I love it I don't really want to like change the color too much just want to give it that pop, you know? It would be nice if this palette had just one more really dark shade. Um, just because that brown is... Like, that's the darkest shade in the palette. And I could have something just a little bit more just to sort of, like, darken up, like, those edges a bit. But it's still really, really pretty. And it's still dark. I just... I wish there was just one more in there that... I could use but that's just me being extra like hello this looks fine as it is okay so that is it for this video um yeah I actually I really really love this palette um I think the shadows are really beautiful um there's a lot of different looks that you could do with this palette the um like the blendability and everything of these colors is just so so nice Really the only thing that I would say is I wish they had one more darker colour in there, but you know what, you you can still do heaps of different looks with this. Um, so I'm really, really happy with how this eyeshadow turned out as well. Um, I think it's gorgeous, you could wear it to anything. You could really, really go all out there and put your lashes on and do a huge wing and whatever else. You could take like the middle shadow all the way up like to your eyebrow if you wanted to. Um, I think this would be really nice to wear to like a festival or something because it's something a little bit different um, but it's still really really achievable. Okay so thank you all for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Bye!